Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to use the compare function first on a, a head a sort of organic shape and another I'll do another video on comparing an object a, a mechanical object so here I've got two heads and I've simulated what's called plagiocephaly on one of them uh, same person but scanned at different times I've simulated a difference between them by cutting a section out of the head this in real life is called plagiocephaly where the head gets distorted in usually in infants so what we'd like to do of course is see the difference between the damaged head and the cured head if you'd like in this particular case so the first thing to do is they were they were scanned at different times so we need to get them into the same alignment and best fit them before we can compare them so the, the easiest way to do that is there is top right top left a best fit function and there are three ways of doing it you can do it automatically you can do it manually um, and I will show you both of those so automatic requires there to be geometric detail for the system to work so we'll have a go we'll just say I want my fixed head to be the one with the plagiocephaly simulation and my the mobile one the one to be moved um, will be the normal head and then I've chosen automatic and I just choose best fit and it goes away and tries to best fit them and it probably will succeed yes it has so you can just see the other head is so perfectly aligned but if you look inside we might be able to see the flat part yes there so this is a perfectly aligned head and we can go ahead with the compare function however I'm going to reset it and show you how to do it manually in manual you just set up your both of your heads to be roughly the same orientation and then you choose point pairs on them so you choose choose at least three possibly more points as far apart as possible so we'll start with some really easily identifiable stuff so we'll click on nose and nose we'll click on middle of the eyebrows and middle of the eyebrows and then we got to go and get something on the left hand side so we can do a left hand temple and a left hand temple and it doesn't have to be terribly accurate and you can already see it's getting a pretty good fit so we could go ahead now and just choose best fit but I'll I'll just to, you know give it all the best chances I'll go around and do the the other temple and I could even do the back of the head now that's given it a lot of really good indicators on how to work and now I just choose I was a bit careless with that last one so it's actually made the fit a little worse but it's okay so I just choose best fit now and it's immediately got it so if I'm happy with that which I am I'm going to click OK so now we've got our two models best fitted so now I've got my heads aligned together I'm going to use the compare function and I'm going to compare I've selected the normal head and I'm going to compare it to the plagio head and the first thing you see is it automatically does its own comparison but you can then after you've looked at this comparison and you can reset these scales if you want you can ask it to give you the maximum and minimum deviations the minimum is zero here the maximum is 9.0 in the middle of the plagio event which makes sense and then you can also go back and do your own so if you were interested in halfway between the two you can click there and get those annotations and these can be exported as a 3mf file and it will save the scale with it so that is the compare function in peel to cad